So on our abstract ones, we're going to do the light a little differently. Because in this, we drew our light shining down just like normal light. It's brighter there, it's lighter. Um, on these apples, since they're abstract, we're going to make our light go in spectrum order. So you need to think, what is spectrum order? The color, the order of the light. So once you have it in your head, you can start drawing your light. So it's the same order that we see when there's a rainbow in the sky. So we're going to do it in that same order. So I'm going to start with red. Oops, bumped the camera. Red shining down here. And remember, light shines in straight lines. It doesn't curve, so my line is going to be straight for my light red and then orange and then yellow oh my yellow it's got a little bit too much wrapper on it yellow And then green. Blue. It's going to come all the way from the edge of the paper all the way down to my apple. And lastly, violet. Violet is the last one in the spectrum order. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. And then you can decide what color you want your background to be, and you can do it any color you want. Um, I would recommend you don't use red or violet because they're on the outside edges and you won't be able to tell as much that they're there. I think for mine, I'm going to use, hmm, I think I'll use this nice bright green in my background. So I'm going to carefully color that in. Being careful I don't go over top of my light that I have shining down. And I'm going to turn it so I can get to the other side without messing up what I already drew. You can go ahead and color your background in. And then I can't forget to color in that stem, if you have a stem in your picture. There you have a beautiful drawing.